<laughs> Y'all, The Sims 2. The Sims 2, you guys. The Sims 2 in all of its glory right here. Here we go. Alright, hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of the Sims 2 Let's Play Pleasant View. So today we are back with the Pleasant family. Now, I did record a little bit off camera, but like not really off camera. I did record it and I was going to upload it, but... It was tragic and I just felt like it was not quality content I was recording when I was going through like some major anxiety and just like stress that I didn't sound like myself. I just, you could tell something was off and it was just awful. So let me go ahead and recap some things that happened. I only played like a day with the Pleasant family. So let me go ahead and catch you up real quick. Um, <laughs> I'm sitting here staring at Lilith because I thought today was Friday, but it's actually Saturday. So I was thinking the girls are about to leave to go to school but turns out they're not so what happened was I was really starting to you know trying to well I was trying to figure out what's going on with Daniel and Mary Sue you know like are are they going to make it you know he's gotta go to work <laughs> but what's the deal you know what's the dealio what's what's gonna happen you know between these two is Daniel going to you know call it quits with Kaylin um, is he going to try to reconcile things and, you know, make things better with his wife? Is Mary Sue going to put her foot down and say, Hell no, you're a scum. I deserve better than you. Get out. Or is she the type of person that is such a perfectionist, wants this, you know, perfect, picture-perfect life that she would... Oh my god, look how pitiful her face is. That's so sad. That she would just stay in this marriage because she does not want anybody to know how bad things really are. And just the look on her face, my heart has broken. It really has. And what ended up happening with that, I still don't know. I really would like y'all's input on where to take these two and their story. Because when it comes down to it, Daniel is still a romance sim. He still has that romance aspiration. He still wants to have three loves at once, you know? He wants to kiss his wife. So basically, he wants to keep his wife, keep his family together while still hoe around, which is not okay. So what do you guys think I should do? It's up to you guys. Help me out. I really need some help because I could go both ways and now, you know, it'd be chill. It'd be cool. <laughs> um, but anyways, Kaylin actually invited Daniel out. And so I was like, okay, yeah, let's go. Let's see what happens, you know? So we go, and then guess who gets out of the taxi cab with us at the lounge? Don Lothario. That trick had the nerve to invite not only Daniel, but the other man she's having an affair with, which is, you know, Don Lothario, as we know. And obviously, I was like, oh, shit, some, something's about to go down. Some drama's about to happen. And um, thinking that maybe, you know, Daniel would get heartbroken and it would just kind of end things and make things, you know, right with him and Mary Sue. Maybe he would be more open to fixing things with his wife. But no, actually, Don was the one that got mad and was heartbroken. So when we go back to the, the Lothario household, some things are going to be different. He's no longer going to be in love with Kaylin. He's pissed at her. She betrayed him, even though he's cheating on her. I mean, really. <laughs> so yeah, that's what happened with that. Also, she does not want him in sleeping in the same bed as her. So, he has a nice little bed around here, hidden by the stairs, you know, you, just a guest bed, you know, when people ask. It's not a big deal. <laughs> but, yeah, that's where he has been sleeping. And also, a little update with Angela. She was up here on the computer, I believe. Well, yesterday, she brought home a friend, right? And this friend was Jonathan Graham. And at first, I was like, oh, she brought over Dustin, because it looks like Dustin. But no, it was another guy. It wasn't Dustin. So, I was like, interesting. He was thinking about her. She was thinking about him. So, I was kind of getting the vibes. Maybe she was like, had this friend that she thought was cute, and he liked her. You know, I don't know if Dustin knows what's going on, but... He came over. Nothing romantic happened, but they were thinking about each other, which made me think that there was something going on with those two. And then a little bit um, with Lilith here is she has all these wants to better herself. She wants to go to college. And I believe when I talked about Dark Dreamer and the Dreamer, you know, episode, I said, you know, I don't know if her... Um, if Dirk and Lilith are going to work out because, you know, he wants to better his life. And I just, I don't think that she does. I think that she's perfectly content being a criminal and she's just acting out and she's not ready for that. 
But she's actually gotten, you know, pretty close with Dustin, who is a criminal like her, but at the same time, he wants to better his life. And, you know, having both of those influences, Dirk and Dustin, telling her, you know, I know life sucks. I know it's treated you unfairly, but you don't want to go down that path. You know, don't do it for everybody else. Do it for you. And so she started doing her homework, and, you know, it felt really good. You can tell she was, like, genuinely happy and, like, feeling confident and proud of herself. You know, she's doing it for her. And so now she has this want to go to college, which is really cool. So let me, guys, let me, guys, let me know what y'all think, you guys. There we go. I was thinking about, you know, once they, um, the teenagers, you know, Lilith, um, Angela and Dustin and Dirk, once they age up and it's time for college, maybe like putting them all in one household and playing them together at university. Let me know what y'all think about that. That's an option. But yeah, I'm excited for her. She wants to get her grades up and she wants to go to university, which is really cool. I did not see that happening. So yeah, that's where we're at. Um, the exterminator is here because someone came and kicked our trash can over the other day and we've had some issues with roaches. So that's cool. Not really. Angela is sick with the flu. Everybody is sick with the flu. That's just wonderful. Great. Okay, well, you're sick with the flu, so come down here and get your little grommy hands and serve us some breakfast because she's literally the only one with a cooking skill, so that is why. All right, so let's have <laughs> Lilith come up here and take a bubble bath or whatever and just get all cleaned up and fresh for the day. Like I said, Daniel is at work. Um, I also have been trying to find Mary Sue a job. I don't even remember. Have I checked today? I really don't think I have. But I just, every time I check, there's not a career option available that I just feel, you know, that fits her well. I really want her to get back into politics, maybe with a different company, maybe business. I don't know. There's a whole lot of different options in The Sims 2. My music career, look again, I don't see that, you know, Mary Sue's alley. It's not up her alley. Um, gamer career, absolutely not. <laughs> I don't think so. What else? But she does want a job. Like, she's a workaholic. She needs a job. Oceanography. No, I don't see her doing that either. The struggle. Mary Sue is having a hard time finding a job. Athletic. Hell no, she's not working with her husband. <laughs> Culinary, no, she does not enjoy, you know, people that can cook. Like, her turn off is uh, cooking, which is kind of weird. But even though she's interested in cooking. Um, also, I'm trying to figure out, you know, what, what would the girls be interested in? Because I think you do have to work on their skills to get them into school. I don't even remember how University of The Sims 2 works. I need to really check into that. Are you serious, Angela? I'm sitting here bragging on you how you were the only... <laughs> She's like, I'm sorry, I failed you. The only one with a cooking skill and you effed up. You effed up. You're serving us some ratchet-ass burnt pancakes. Hell no, girl. We don't want those pancakes. Throw them away. We are not eating that. Try again. Round two. Clean up. <laughs> Alright, so once she gets... Wait, where is she going? She was like, uh, coming down here to wait for the food. And she's asked to start all over. The pressure. The pressure is on. But now it's time to serve lunch. So let's have some... Oh, wait, hold up. Let's see. Daniel's been asked by the team's owner to arrange for a piano to be moved for one of the star players who neither has the time nor the link... Ink, inkling. Okay, that's inkling. Definitely not linkling. What the hell is that? To do it himself. The team doesn't have a budget for these types of expenses, so Daniel could ask some of the rookies to do it or save himself the hassle and pay professional piano movers to do it. We're going to ask the rookies since we don't have the, you know, the budget, the expenses to do that. So let's see. Daniel sends a group of younger players out to the suburbs to move the piano themselves with one admonition to not drop the piano at all costs. But one of the rookies slips on the third flight of stairs and does, in fact, drop the piano. The quick, uh huh? The quickly accelerating Grand Baby Grant, what the fuck? <laughs> the quickly accelerating Baby Grant smashes the hand of one of the players, lands on the ankle of another, oh no, and causes a third to sprain a groin muscle before it reaches the landing and plummets three floors to its eventual doom due to his mishandling. <gasps> oh shit. Daniel's been fired. Oh my god, I did not see this happening. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. I'm freaking out right now. Neither of them have a job right now. He, She's already been fired, and he just got fired. So there's no income for this family right now. Oh, my God. I did not expect this. 
Oh no. Oh no. I thought things were going to get better, but I think this is really just about to just ruin it. They're just, oh god. She's about to be pissed. Like, honestly. Daniel has been demoted. Oh wait, he's been demoted? It just said he got fired. To team mascot. Okay, well he got demoted. Okay, that's, we can work with that. I mean, that kind of sucks. He got demoted a lot. Holy crap, he got demoted a lot. But that's okay. We can get that back up. Okay, okay, okay. He's got his job, so we have some income. I was really worried about that, but we're good. We're good. He's just going to pretend. You know, I don't think he would even tell his wife, you know. I think he would just, you know, say he came home sick, you know. He's already in the hole with her, you know. He's in, like, a grave, a pretty deep grave. He's not going to, like, make it worse on himself. So I think he would just tell her he wasn't feeling good and, you know, she, I mean, I don't know. Maybe she noticed that the money, the pay is not the same. Maybe not. I don't know. Angela, please come over here and serve lunch. Let's make some hamburgers or something, please. Um, and then what I think we're going to do... Well, she's talking to her mom, Lilith is, so that's good. I wonder if they're bonding or something. But what I was thinking about doing is having Lilith um, kind of hang out with Dirk. Uh, maybe Dirt come over. Oh, I was gonna say maybe Dirt come over and we can, like, go swimming or something. But, yeah, it's raining. Like, right? Like, a psych. <laughs> Every time I plan something, it fails. It fails. It fails. They're, like, freaking out because it's raining. All right, Mary Sue, make yourself useful and let's clean up. Okay, Lilith, you've already done all of your homework. So, you know what? I don't care if it's raining. Let's just call Dirk over. I mean, <laughs> she's probably better off... <laughs> go into Dirk's house because, you know, of the dysfunction in her family, but nonetheless, she's inviting him over, so she's going to, Mary Sue, I say clean up. Alright, so yeah, we're going to invite Dirk over, invite him over, yeah, okay. Okay, I don't know if y'all just seen that, but Mary Sue is literally just like holding her nose. And she said that Lilith smells bad, but I'm pretty sure Lilith just took a bath. That's just rude as hell. That's just being rude. Saying your daughter stinks. Like, it's, she's making it very hard for me to like her because, like, Lilith's my girl. Uh, what the? What the fuck? What the hell is this trick doing? Like, what the hell? He just runs through our house? What is he doing? Whoa, hold up. Before I miss it, what the f- Krissa, you're messing it up. You're ruining everything. What is happening? Where the hell did Don go? What is he doing? What is he- What does he have? What just happened? I'm not really sure what had just happened. He literally just, like, ran through our house. That was the weirdest freaking thing. Whatever. All right. Let's come out here and greet him before he leaves. Aww. She's like, hey, babe, what's up? I'm coming here. I need to eat my hamburger. Because I'm still hungry. All right. Come on in, babe. Oh, they just fell in love with each other. Oh, that's so sweet. All right. So, little lovebirds. And clearly, Angela is going to be pissed off. And she's going to be jealous because her sister has her boyfriend over. So, Mom, do you mind if Dustin comes over? <laughs> she's like, you know what? Sure, why not? Let's just let's just add fuel to the fire, guys. Let's bring them on over. Like, this family doesn't have problems. It's cool. Oh, yeah, she totally won't notice, Daniel, that you got demoted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, well, you know what? We, we try, we try. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so he's going to work as a mascot, but it's okay. At least he's making some money. Maybe we can uh, get that performance bar on up there and get us back to the, the level. I don't know. We was making pretty good money. I don't even know what level we was on, but we was doing pretty freaking good. 
Oh yeah, see look, he has so many skills that he'll get back there in no time. We're good. Alright, so girls, that's great. Continue bonding. Let's come over here. Um, and like, can they like make out and stuff? Let's make out with our boyfriend in the living room because we're a rebel and we give no fucks. Okay. Okay, now you are gonna come over here and you're gonna call your boyfriend and invite him over because, you know, she's gonna die of FOMO if she doesn't, you know? She wants in on some of that action too. Alright, so Lilith, go ahead. Can we put the moves on him? Oh, wait, let's invite Dustin over. Oh, Dustin is at work, working. Oh, dang. I bet she's, like, for real pissed now because she really wanted him to come over. Um, but, you know, I just, I feel like Angela would not be okay with just, you know, being the, the loser one, you know, in her eyes. Like, my, my sister has got friends over, but I don't. That's not okay. So, I think she's going to call over her new friend, Jonathan. I think that was his name. And we're going to see if we can kind of figure out what's going on with them, too, you know? While they're over here cuddling, okay? She definitely looks like the dominant one in the relationship. That's cute. Oh! Oh, oh, okay. Mm, I see. I didn't, I didn't, like, um, oh, make out. Oh, shoot. Okay, yeah, let's call Jonathan over. Make out. I'm such a pervert. Are you serious? The freaking Angela's getting rejected. Like, what the hell? She's like, what the, f what the what's going on right now? Hi, you've reached Jonathan's answer machine. I'm not home right now, so try calling again later. Thanks. She's like, are you serious right now? Is this a joke, Mom? What is happening? All right, so she's going to come over here and put away these leftovers. Mary Sue, what are you doing? Um, no, you're not. If, you, if you're sleepy, come over here and sleep in your bed. Don't go sleep in your daughter's bed. She's about to walk in. She's just like, um, I don't even care. <laughs> you know, I don't even care. All right, so, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. She's just going to clean up, you know. She's kind of, like, letting her anger out. She's a little aggravated. You know, her boyfriend's working. Oh, oh, crap. We have plants to water. I forgot about that. You have to water the plants on The Sims, too. Like, them two, they're, like, just freaking getting it. Shoot. Okay. <laughs> but anyways... She's a little concerned with what's going on and why why nobody wants to come hang out with her. Meanwhile, she's over here just living it up. <laughs> like, hell yeah. All right. But anyways, let's have her come over here and use the restroom. Their needs go down so fast in The Sims 2. It's kind of like hard to keep up with them. It's quite annoying, honestly. Like, didn't they all just freaking eat? Why the hell is their hunger down? I don't understand. Okay, I'm not really sure what is happening. Dirt came down here to talk to Angela, and she's being such a bitch. She's like, ew. What a... Like, she's rude. I don't like her, honestly. And we just got the notification. Notification? Like, what? What a mouthful. <laughs> Be careful. Daniel only has two days left before celebrating a birthday oh no i'm not ready for him to be an elder what how many days until she oh my god they're about to be elders oh my god he literally is having a midlife crisis dude like i think you need to fix things with your wife because nobody's going to be wanting your old self it's not like you have much to offer them you just got demoted um okay i don't know what to do now it kind of just ruins everything i did not know they were about to be elders okay yeah i don't know why angela is so rude I mean, he's just, like, trying to talk to her because he's nice like that, and she's just not having it. I mean, typical, right? She's going to come over here and try again to see if she can... Oh, well, somebody's calling, so let's go see who... Stop talking to him and let's see who's calling. Oh, my God, it's Jonathan, and he's calling to talk to her dad? Like, are you freaking kidding me? She's like, are you serious? No, like, call him back. And be like, dude, what's the deal? I called you and now you're, you like, didn't even acknowledge the fact. Oh, wait, no, got him confused. I got him confused. Wait, no, not you. Call, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's like pissed. She's fuming. She's like, I'm trying to get to the phone right now. Do you mind getting a room? Like, are you freaking serious? You, can you not do that, it's like, in your own privacy? I mean, what the hell? She's, like, literally so pissed right now. Oh, my God. These girls, I'm telling you. 
He's like, dude, don't come over here telling me to get out of the way. Like, bitch. <laughs> These girls are crazy, man. All right. <laughs> oh, wait, now she's crying. You started it. What the hell? This is dog. What are these people? What the hell? Like, this dog and Don just, like, walks through our house. Like, they own the place. That's so weird. Who's this? Michelle Tis Tis I don't know what that means. I don't I don't know. Alright, whatever. Okay, y'all chill out for a second. Alright, it's not a big deal. Come over here and watch some TV. Um, I don't know. I wonder if Dustin's still working. Probably. He's a criminal, so he probably works late. So let's try Jonathan again. Yeah, let's invite him over so we can kinda like see what's going on with him. Can my friend come over too? Yeah, sure. The more the merrier. <laughs> Let's see who he brings over. Alright, so Jonathan has showed up and he brought his friend over, right? And his friend is... Let's see. Is this a teenager or is this an an old man? What the hell? Thomas Santander? I mean, I guess that's okay. Like, that's so kind of... That's kind of weird. Let's, like... Uh, Greet everyone. Like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Angela is healthy again. All right, cool. Mary Sue's healthy again. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Oh, look at them over here dancing together. Like, that's so cute. They're so in sync with each other. <laughs> See, like, he's thinking. They're thinking about her. She's thinking about her husband betraying her. Where? <laughs> what is she doing? She's. I mean, they're all coming over here to dance with each other. Like, that's just. I mean. <laughs> Y'all, The Sims 2. The Sims 2, you guys. The Sims 2 in all of its glory right here. Here we go. <laughs> oh, she's over here dancing by herself. Poor girl. She just can't. She can't win. All right, Angela. We got to figure out what's going on with you and this Jonathan. <laughs> I can't take them serious when they're dancing like that. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so let's just go over here and chat with him, I guess. I don't know. Like... <laughs> I love it. I love The Sims 2 so much. You're like, oi, oi. <laughs> like, what's up? All right. They're cracking me up. This is insane. All right. So, anyway, propose sleepover. I don't know about all that. Like, can we just continue, like, sharing interest with him and stuff? She's getting pretty sleepy. Is he not interested in talking to us? I mean, he's really cute, but he looks a lot like Dustin. But like I said, I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, hold up, what? All right, so he's been promoted to minor leaguer. See, he's already moving on up the ladder, so that's good. And he also brought a friend home. Like, they're just partying it up over at the Pleasant household. Um, Thomas Cap? Or no, what the hell? Thomas Go? I can't read. I can't read in case y'all were wondering, but that's cool, Daniel. Like, yeah, bring home your friends. That's fine. We don't care. We're just partying. But yeah, what was I saying about these two? I just, I'm all about the drama and just like stirring things up, you know? And I don't think it's time to like end things with her and Dustin because they are in love. But at the same time, you know how it is, you know, it gets... <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure we've all been in that situation where you're in, you're in a relationship and you do, like, truly like somebody. But then, like, you, you can also be attracted to other people, obviously. Just because you're in a relationship doesn't mean you're, like, not attracted to anybody else. So, maybe she's, like, attracted to him and he's attracted to her and they're friends. I can see it maybe causing some drama, but I don't really know if Angela, you know, would, you know, break up Dustin for Jonathan. I don't see that really happening. I mean, these two are killing it. Who is stinky? Is it? Oh, it is her. Why is she stinky? Ew. All right. So, anyways, it looks like um, everything's dirty. Everybody is dirty. <laughs> so, I mean, literally everybody's dirty. This is kind of crazy. And there's, like, not enough bathrooms in this house. I mean, what? All right. So, anyways. Um, all right. I'm going to, like, try to get everybody situated, get them to bed. It's probably about time to wrap this part up anyways. But, yeah, let me just go ahead and put everybody to bed. They're getting in the wrong bed. This is a nightmare. And I'm probably about to wrap this part up with a like I don't want it to be, like, super long. 
But Mary Sue is going to get a job in the law career as a file clerk. I'm not really sure if that's the job that she had before. I don't know. Is law and politics the same thing in The Sims 2? I don't remember. It's been such a long time. So we're going to go ahead and take that job. So yeah, our girl is now employed. So I'm sure she's feeling a lot more confident. So she is now a file clerk making $1.48 an hour. She works Monday through Friday. So yeah, she finally feels like she can get back on her feet a little bit. So Let's have her come sit down over here and just like eat with the family because it is Sunday. I think Daniel has to go to work. But, you know, we did get the notification that they're both, well, at least Daniel, you know, is about to be aging up and his aspiration is low, which is not good because, you know, in The Sims 2, you want to fulfill those aspirations, you know, you don't want them in the red. Um, so we're kind of slacking there and he is a romance sim. I don't really know how to change that. So not really sure what's going to happen between him and Mary Sue. Maybe in their old age, they'll split up and part ways. I uh, see that really probably being what happens. Like I said, I want you guys to tell me what y'all think, but at the same time, I just, I don't see how you can kind of come back from this, you know? It's kind of like, whoa, there's just too much has happened, you know? So, yeah, he, ew, Lilith, that's nasty, nasty, <laughs> that note, guys. On that note, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed, like I said, please, please, please leave all your suggestions, the things that you want to see down below. Um, thank you guys so much, those of you on Twitter who were very supportive of my little hiatus, little break I took this week. Uh, maybe y'all don't follow me on Twitter and you don't really know like why I haven't posted or even if you gave a crap. Um, I just really went through like, I have anxiety bad and I have like panic attacks and I, I just, I get in like these stressful situations and this toxic environments that are not good for me. <laughs> and yeah, I had to like a break and so I needed to take a break from like social media and like making videos because like I said I tried to record and I wasn't myself and you can clearly tell that something was up and something was off with me so anyways thank you guys so much for you know the prayers and the positive like thoughts and vibes my way um stay tuned I do have a speed build um coming up if I haven't already posted already I can't decide if I'm gonna like build it and post it like this Sunday like, over the weekend while I'm away or, you know, maybe I'll post it when I get back. I don't know. You may have already seen this. But, yeah, I'm going to be going to the beach and hopefully, like, detoxing and just relaxing. So, yeah, thank you guys for the support. Like I said, comment down below everything that you want to see with this family. What dynamics do you want to see? What's your story ideas? What do y'all think? Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe if you have not. And, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, for the support. I love y'all so much. And I will see y'all later. I